right in this video i'm going to show you my final backstop um tool that i've made up for the myford ml7 for doing repeatable um lengths of bar or whatever so you can actually face off bar to exactly the same length using this tool and if you have the same setup that i have where you have a handle in the back with an expanding mandrel obviously you'd have to take that expanding mandrel out each time you knock the backstop out um, I don't want to do that because that's uh, time consuming and therefore I've made up this um, slide hammer to extract the backstops after use. And like I said in my last video on the subject it's a really good tool to have one of these or two of them. I've got this one for longer lengths bar and this one obviously for short lengths of bar that I want to face off or components to exactly the same length. So in a moment I'm going to show you the backstop set up in the lathe or how I set it up in the lathe for actually facing off bar and it's great for doing batch work. Also if you don't want to put up a collet chuck um, I've just got these here with the hexagon on so you can put these directly up into the chuck and just run with the um, that's the ER32 collet and this is the ER40 collet and I've got both sets for these two um, collet chucks. So this one here is made up out of uh, 2MT soft arbor. You can get these on eBay and I showed how I uh, made this one or said how I made this one. Uh, when you get them there's a hole down the back here. I think it's a 10 millimeter thread. And what you do is um, drill that hole a bit deeper up to about here and then I drill and tap through with a six millimetre um, tap. So I've got the six millimetre thread in there. And the reason you drill that down um, to that length is so that you can actually get the tap to screw right the way through because you can actually change these um, threads in here or change the studding in here to different lengths to suit um, different jobs. And that one's just locked up with a nut. And I've finished it off by um, stamping exactly what it is. This is the Myford backstop with a six millimeter um, stud in it. And the shorter one is just made up out of a um, short 2MT taper. You can actually saw off the back of an old drill or whatever. Um, you'll find that the actual MT2 um, taper part is soft. And I've done exactly the same thing in this one. It's drilled uh, up to about here and then threaded right the way through so that the thread can screw right the way through and um, you, can have the, you can actually shorten it. And then this one here is just made up of a piece of studding, a couple of six millimeter furniture fittings on the end locked up with a, another nut. And this is just a piece of scrap brass that I had. It had two holes in the side here, um, not for use with this tool. Just did a couple of nails on these and made it a little bit oversized to six millimeter. And that one's great for actually extracting that backstop. Actually, these are not called uh, furniture fittings, although they may be used with uh, furniture, different things like shelves and that. They're actual six millimeter connector nuts. So you can actually get these in all different um, thread sizes and you can get them in stainless steel as well but these are just the ones that are chrome um, finished. And I put these on each end because uh, there are a method of actually um, holding and screwing this onto the backstop. This one's got the female thread and this one's uh, locked off with a nut at the top here. So I can put this down inside the jaws and then screw it onto the um, stud there and tap it and extract the backstop. Right, so the first thing I do is to use this um, pull through and it's just a piece of aluminium bar with a groove in it and then I put it through a piece of cloth and put a cable tie around it so it can't actually pull off and I can stick that one up the mandrel like that and pull it back shake it out and do that a couple of times to make sure the spindle bore is nice and clean 
and then I can use my in-scan endoscope to check that that MT2 taper is nice and clean and you can see there it's perfectly clean you can even see the mandrel down the end of the bore there so these are great tools to use in the workshop to check the MT2 taper sleeves are nice and clean and that one's perfect and ready for the taper So I check the MT2 taper on the backstop is nice and clean and dry as well with a cotton cloth and then I can screw it onto the slide hammer and insert it into the spindle and I can even use the slide hammer to knock it home. And now the backstop is ready to use. So for an example I have a length of brass here and um, just say if I had to do say 12 of these to exactly the same length I'll put the faced off end in up against the stop then I'll bring the turning tool up to the end face bring up the carriage stop against the carriage there and lock that up And then I could actually move the screw in on the carriage stop and let the tool in a little bit each time until I get to the desired length, measure this one up and then every time I put another one up in the um, chuck there, face off and when I come to the carriage stop each time they will be exactly the same length and that's the way you do batch work with um, the face-off tool, the carriage stop and the back stop. So you can get a whole load exactly the same length. And then when I've finished, open up the jaws and move the tooling out of the way. Screw the slide hammer onto the stud. and then knock that one out or pull that one out and that's the back stop and then obviously I can use the shorter one and you can even make them shorter than this if you want to that one goes right up inside the um, spindle and obviously you can do longer work and you can make adjustments as well if you put studding in and adjust the actual um, thread length. And if you want to extend the length further of the actual um, bar that you want to machine, you can actually use one of these tools. The, this is the R40 that I've got this set of and obviously put a collet in that with the bar um, size and use that up to the stop. And anything longer that you want to do, you could actually insert um, something from the back end of the lathe and lock that up and do really long bar. But I've never had to do that yet. It's always been relatively short stuff that I've faced off to a certain length. So these um, chucks here, these uh, collet chucks on the hexagon here are, are excellent for quickly putting up in the lathe. If you don't want to actually change the chuck, you can hold on like that, put your um, bar in here or your component with your um, collets and do quick turning using the actual collet chuck. Plus you can also use these in the vise, the bench vise, to actually hold work or even on the bench drill. So they're really handy tools, you can hold them that way or you could hold them up that way. Uh, really handy to actually have these on the lathe. And another thing that I'm doing to make things quicker is I'm getting some ER32 um, collets like this on the MT2 taper to use in the Chinese mini lathe and on the Myford ML7 and leaving a uh, tool set up in them like this center drill here and then I've got the core diameter for say a six millimeter drill 
and then I've got um, a smaller collet chuck there that's the ER um, 25 or no it's the ER 16 with the six millimeter um, tap in and this speeds up the work like anything and I can swap them between lathes and um, like I say you um, can actually put one of these up much quicker than actually changing a drill um, in a Jacobs style chuck.